All right, we got some scrambled eggs going. We got bacon done. We're gonna heat up some tortillas. We're gonna make a little breakfast burrito. Enjoying some nice coffee, thanks to uh, Dan. He brought some coffee up, so I got my cream, got my sugar. It's gonna be a good day. I can't wait. All right, so I'm gonna try to make a breakfast burrito. Start off with some bacon. Everybody loves bacon. Just like that. And then take some scrambled eggs. Take our Mexican style three cheese blend. Put that right on top. Then we're gonna roll it up a little bit, set it back on top of the fire, get that cheese all nice and melted. Yeah, that's a that's a big boy. This is the uh, this is the Kager right here, boys. Kager. That's what we got going with right now. Tell me, doesn't look good. For all you guys, I always sit there and talk about food and live streams. Like you guys are watching this video right now, and you guys are like, "Man, that looks good. I gotta eat something." You're welcome. Well, guys. Breakfast is ready. Got the bacon and eggs wrapped in a tortilla shell. That's good stuff. Bet y'all wish you were out here having some of this. But you know what? I guess you'll have to come to the next Wood Squad gathering to be able to get some of this good food. Mm. Nice little plug. Huh? Yeah. Nice little plug. Try to catch some trout yeah. using a drone. This is the one? DJI Maverick Mini, and we're gonna go ahead and, and get this all tied up. See if we can't catch any drone with this.
So what I do is I tie my little sinker on the bottom here. And my grandma taught me a good little trick when it comes to fishing. Is you do the old two finger method. You make a loop, you pinch the line, you make a loop, you go around your fingers and then go through the middle of that loop that you just made around your fingers. And what that's gonna do is make a cinch knot just like that. So that way you got your your uh, weight on the bottom but you got your bait right here spinning freely. And now that we have this hoop, all you have to do without even making a knot is send, send, those, uh, send that loop that we did, make it as tight as possible, put it through the eyelid, open that loop up, put your hook through, and voila. That ain't going nowhere. I didn't really come out here to uh, actually make a video. I'm just Dan's ad lib guy. I make sound effects for everything he does out here. So, point, <laughs> ding, ding, ding. <laughs> All right, so we're back at the campsite. We're gonna go ahead and start cooking up some of the trout that we had caught earlier. We caught two rainbow trout and one brown trout along with some steaks. There's gonna be a little bit of a surfing turf out here. Uh, we're just getting the coals all nice and hot so we can go ahead and throw those steaks on, get a nice slow cook on them, and uh, maybe put on a pot of coffee or something like that. So check this out. All right, so it wasn't much of a sizzle because I don't want that cast iron pot to get really hot and overdo the steaks. So I got nice, medium, low heat on it. And it's gonna take probably about 30 minutes to go ahead and heat that steak up. Some steak, some salt. And of course some black pepper. Oh, 
going on guys? Here we are, wrapping up the day two of uh, the Wood Squad bush gathering. And uh, looks like we got us some uh, trout and some steaks going here. Ought to be pretty good. So Colin's getting ready to fry up that fish in some fish frying batter. And I uh, came over here and I'm chilling in my hammock. Hopefully I don't fall out. Let me, uh, let me readjust myself real quick here. So uh, big shout out goes to uh, Dan with Herbert T Outdoors. And Colin with Ken Kate Outdoors. Links are going to be in the description down below. Uh, for coming out here and hanging out with me. And being part of the very first Wood Squad meetup. It, it definitely means a lot. Um... And I want to thank all you guys at home too that, that weren't able to make it because of everything that's going on in this world. Um, my good buddy Brian, uh, Be Ready Today, uh, huge supporter. Uh, he's, he's always constantly sending me stuff that's going to keep me on the right path that I need to be on. Uh, Nicole, always in the live streams, uh, always commenting on videos. My boy Johnny, Johnny from Hawaii, bro, we're shredding it out here, man. You missed it. We're, we're out here shredding it, Johnny. Um, uh, Mallory with uh, Quebec Homestead. Uh, I know she wanted to make it down. Uh, she's got a really good channel, too. Uh, Grace Martin. Uh, Grace Martin's a member. Uh, I do have a membership. If you guys do want to join my channel, you can join and become a monthly member. Um, it's all up to you guys. It doesn't really matter to me. It's just an extra way to keep supporting this channel. Um... Trav and Mav with uh, Trail Trash Outdoors, they're a big supporter as well. Uh, Mark with Rolling Homestead, my good buddy Mark, you know, he's one of those guys that I call every single day and we, we talk. Um, uh, who else we got? Off top of my head, I can't remember. I know all you guys as soon as I see the chat. We got Angler uh, 2058, I want to say. Um, yeah, I mean, you guys are all just amazing. Um, the amount of support. Oh, Brian Palmer who lives uh, uh, overseas. Awesome guy too. Uh, hopefully uh, when I get back and get out all the stuff that I need to get sent out, the knives, the hammocks, the headlamps and stuff, I, it's just, I've been so busy with everything going on, I couldn't uh, send those out. But all you guys uh, who come and support, you know, it's just, I wouldn't be where I'm at if it wasn't for you guys. And I wanna make sure I tell you guys that every single chance I get, because if it wasn't for me, I'm, you know, <laughs> If it wasn't for you guys, I, I wouldn't be nobody. So I, I appreciate everything you guys do. Um, there's there's going to be plenty more Wood Squad meetups. Um, so definitely looking forward to it. Like I said, huge shout out goes to Herbert T. Outdoors, my good buddy Dan, and Colin with Kincaid Outdoors uh, for coming out and being part of the very first Wood Squad meetup. 
Uh, so, like I said, Grace, if you're watching this, which I know you will be, Trav, Mav with Trail Trash Outdoors, Brian Palmer, Nicole, Quebec Homestead, Mallory, uh, Angler 2058 or something like that, Angler something, um, Brent, uh, my boy Johnny, Blake Hurst, Blake Hurst, Donald Morris, um, man, Blake Hurst, I hope everything's going good for you, man, uh, you're one cool cat, I'll say that, you're one cool cat, and I appreciate you always coming in and, uh, doing what you do, and, you know, it's, it means a lot, um, all you guys, you know, I, right now I'm drawing a blank, I've, I've been out here for two days now, and, uh, being off social media and, and just using my camera to record stuff, it's just been absolutely amazing, um, Tate, my buddy Tate, who made this hammock, uh, his company is called East Tree Handmaids. Everything he makes is handmade, bought in, uh, bought in the U.S. Very cool. Um, he made this and he made the uh, survivor skull, scarf. Tate, I'm like, uh, big shout out goes to Tate for making this hammock that I'm using. This is uh, a handmade. All of his stuff that he does is all handmade products. His company that he started is called East Tree Handmaids. Um, he made me this uh, along with a survival survival scarf, and uh, I'm absolutely just uh, blown away that you know so many people are, are sending and, and uh, making me stuff. It's just amazing. Blake made me a um, uh, uh, an arrowhead uh, necklace. Uh, my buddy Cliff made me uh, some paracord bracelets, and he's been a longtime supporter. Um, Tommy Lee. Um, all you guys I mean you guys are just amazing you know everything that uh, you guys have have done has helped me so much tremendously and I, I owe you guys all a huge shout out so one of these days we're just gonna have uh, just everyone you know we're gonna find a way to get everyone in here and we're all gonna go out and camp for a week or so and it'll be awesome so big shout out to you guys uh, for taking your time out of the day to watch these videos and I hope it brings you know some kind of peace and relaxation to you and you know it sounds crazy here's one of my here's one of my dreams you know you watch videos and you hear about people say oh I, I can't go to bed at night unless I put one of those videos on it's not a it's not a diss it's actually a compliment and I, I hope one day people says you know I, I I can't fall asleep unless I turn on Tylewood Bushcraft and, and fall asleep and watching some of those videos because the scenery is just absolutely amazing um, so you guys are just awesome um, everyone who supports the channel you guys are amazing. Uh, we lost a member of the Wood Squad family, uh, Caroline Kennard. Uh, that hit me pretty hard. Uh, I stayed off YouTube for about a week because of it. I mean, like I said, you guys are family to me. So, um, you know, you guys are all just awesome. I, I appreciate every single one of you. Um, you guys keep on doing what you're doing, and uh, I'll keep doing what I'm doing, and we're going to succeed together. I promise you that. So, thank you guys so much for this. I'm going to get back with the party. I'll kind of put the camera in the background, kind of show you. You know, we've just been sitting and shooting the breeze, and that's kind of what this has been about. This wasn't a survival trip. This wasn't a show off your skill trip. This was just sharing information uh, and sharing good company. So, thank you guys so much. Let's get back to that video. <laughs> Wood Squad Meetup. Wood. <laughs> Wood Squad Meetup. Wood Squad Meetup. Why are you always on smoke? No, you're throwing too hard.
Yeah, that's a start. That counts. There we go. <laughs> Let me know. Yep. Ready? Yep. Okay. You got 99 spices and this ain't one. Okay, sorry. You got that fork I brought up, bud? Like being on camera. Oh, I got it. You don't play. Mm -hmm. if, if you want, I'll, I won't. I'll edit it out. Yeah. If you could show it to me before that next time. place on a lake mm -hmm. and we had a nice point and the lake was on you know kind of surrounded it and little, we'd, little go, we'd go out there and you know on the weekends and camp out in our little tents it, you know growing up it, they sacrificed a lot for us to be able to have that right and my mom and dad did too I just had the best time there you know, being able to go fishing all the time. And we had woods to play in. Out front, we had a you know, open field area. We played ball. It, it just, you know, a young boy's dream come true. Right. You know, if you like the outdoors. And, uh, you know, we didn't have the video games that kids have today. There was no internet. <laughs> it, you know, it, and Ian's going. See, I was, <laughs> he's like, I was a little in between the two generations because as I got older, so here's the thing. Back when I was a kid, we didn't have cell phones that we call and see where everyone's at. What we, what we knew was wherever all the bikes were in the front yard, that's where all of our buddies were. And uh, now, you know, you know, it kind of turned into the, you know, texting and, hey, where you at, you know, kind of stuff. But back in... When I was younger, it was wherever all the bikes are in the front yard, that's where all your buddies were, and that's where we're hanging out. There. I've been there. And it was just, it was our first time actually in a camper camper, a pull behind camper. And, uh, even though it was hot and miserable, I mean, it was still probably one of the funnest, fondest memories I'll ever have with, you know, the whole family. And, uh, you know, I just, I absolutely love it. I mean, everything about it. Just being out here, you know, building your own shelters, whether it be putting up a tent, setting a hammock up, or actually building something out of wood. Um, it's just amazing, you know. Family made the point of uh, camping every summer. Same here. When I learned, when I was in high school, and it was time for me to take driver's ed, back when driver's ed was a part of school. guys wood squad it's been nice I'm in the hammock um, I already had to bed we had a fun time sat around the campfire shared stories all that good stuff and underneath the uh, tarp in a hammock made by Tate go check it out real East tree handmaids I'll put a link in the description down below if you guys want to get a hammock like this um, Got my pillow. I mean, I'm I'm ready to crash. It's been a long day. Finally crossed something off my bucket list by catching some rainbow trout. Caught a brown trout as well. Um, we fried trout. that up and 
it was really good so um, probably gonna end the video here and maybe show some b-roll footage of the ride home tomorrow so I want to thank you all for watching this video I'll catch y'all in the next one mm -hmm.